Good morning, it's Susan at Seaside Stitches. This is episode 7 of my sewing stories or sew and tell. Vlogmas has sort of got in the way. <laughs> so, hello. Um, today I'm going to talk about, just briefly, talk about this second Harper cardigan that I've made. I've made it with shorter sleeves and I've still made the long one. There is a video that I'll pop in that shows me wearing it. I have mentioned this car this cardigan in little bits really from the first <laughs> first video I did but episode two talks about how I did the pattern, how I put it together, how I cut it out and shows a bit of that. I did a royal blue one from Higgs and Higgs the fabric, this cable knit. This one is from Bobbins and Buttons. It was called Rose Coral comes up a bit different on the video. So this is kind of an experiment, this video. I'm gonna do it differently than the others that I do. So I had, it's not exactly a sew along, but while I was making it, this one, I videoed each step. There is one step missing, I don't know where that's gone, but anyway, I videoed each step and I've done it on, I'm gonna include it after I stop talking, I'm gonna, add that video of little clips of me when I reinforced the shoulders and then what I did next and what I did next and how I sewed it. It's not a close up on the machine sewing. You get an idea of what I'm doing next uh, or I'll show you what I'm doing next, but I don't speak in it. So I'm going to put a music track with it. Now, I'm just letting you know that some people, you may not even want to know about it, you may have seen enough about the Harper cardigan to last, last the rest of your life, but there are some people who've kind of intimated that they don't, that they would like to know how everything goes together in what order and so I've just put that on. So I'm going to, some people really don't like music when they're watching a video, so I've, I'm going to do it so that this is the bit where there is me speaking the rest of it there's an odd heading here and there otherwise there's some music on so all you need to do if you're wanting to watch it is just <laughs> your device on mute so that you don't need to have to listen to it but you can watch it because it's only bits of me of the machine brrring and brrring at speed or whatever it's not a madcap kind of time lapse it's just quickened to four times four or times eight in different places the one piece that is missing is me sewing on the band at the bottom so oops. so it just shows the order in which you do it according to them um, the band at the bottom it doesn't show me putting this on but I have included a clip of when I put on the blue one so I hope that's not too confusing if any of you do decide to stay on and watch it. Problem that I did have with it uh, is that it turned out that the band, the, the front band, turned out to be too short and I pinned it, repinned it, wondered what I'd done wrong with it. The only thing I can work out is that I did hang it. It's not massively stretchy, but I did hang it on my model where I think I kept my other one laid down. And I thought that maybe I didn't do enough seam allowance on the shoulders. It's only a quarter inch seam allowance. So, but actually I, I did do that one right. The, all the others I overlocked. Some of them, this I overlocked rather than sewing it. The sides I overlocked rather than sewing it on the machine. And the other, so given that I only overlocked the bottom band, rather than sewing it to a definite quarter inch there's kind of millimeters there that would add to some length but i can't see that that would have made the difference that i'd done so i don't quite know what i did wrong with it but i pinned it and i pinned it and there are two um notches they're on the pattern and you transfer them they're not actually notches on the edges but it shows you how to make sure you get the neck bit right and I went back and did that. I did it a few times and in the end I was left with this about that much too short. Then I worked out that, well, because this one comes down that way, the cable, and that one comes down that way because the joint is two pieces joined at the back, I wanted to 
cut a piece that matched this side and a piece that matched that side. So I ended up with that and two seams and it just looks stupid <laughs> because by the time you've got your, your seams on it, it doesn't really, you don't really understand that they're going that way and that. So um, in the end, I repositioned it again and I didn't have as big a gap but I just decided to go with one one piece. So you'll see there is a picture inserted for that, that it it joins onto this side, I think. I don't know if that's making sense, but anyway, because it's a one directional fabric, I was thinking, oh, I'm so clever me now. I'm going to mend this by making sure that I keep that direction and that direction, but it just was all, it wasn't right. So that's that done. And then, I don't even know if I've said, good morning, this is Susan at Seaside Stitches. <laughs> the other thing I did was, I merrily cut this out, just as I'd cut out the other one, feeling not exactly smug, but confident, because I'd already done it before, and knew what to do, and knew how to do it. And I knew that I'd... I'd been not reckless, but I'd I'd not worried too much about the amount of fabric I'd had because I placed all the pieces on on the blue one, and before I started cutting, etc., etc., I did all the right things. On this one, however, I placed things, I cut things, and then I got to the end and I didn't have enough for a long sleeve, and then I realised that I'd only got a meter and a half of this, but I'd got two meters of the other, so that's why had to make a decision about the sleeve. Now there was enough for about that length and there is uh, a pattern piece for, you can have that choice of short, short, much shorter than this, short about here and a long sleeve. They all have cuffs but the long sleeve has a proper cuff round your wrist. The others have like this kind of a, it's a cuff isn't it but it's not a tightened cuff and I didn't like that length there, so I went for, but I didn't like the length up here either. So I went for something in the middle, and then when I put the band on that matches the short sleeve, it was too short. I didn't feel like it was in, in balance. So I took that off, and I redid it, and I put, I, I made one that was between the small one that was on the pattern, and the, de the depth of the band there, because that would have been too long. Um, so I came up with this. Now, what I would say is, if you're using a one directional fabric, you need a lot of concentration. And what I had was a lot of concentration. And when I put the first cuffs on, I know very well, and I have a photo, I think, that I made sure that the rib was going in the same direction. And if you are eagle-eyed, you will notice that I didn't do that. I thought I'd done it on this, but when you reverse it, you find that you haven't done that at all. But fortunately, I, neither did I match this one. So these two are a pair of non-matching ones, so they contrast nicely. But then the shock of everything was when I started to... Um, tie in my ends of my overlocking I discovered that the bottom band had also put that on upside down so <laughs> however confident and cocky I felt about it really I didn't do a marvellous job but it to anyone else it may look like that is the perfect contrast that matches this this and this band because this matches uh, and I decided to put pockets on but the pockets that they send that the packet the pattern the pocket pattern they have you position it quite high up and they're quite a bit smaller so I giganticized the pot the pockets and I did this on the blue one first and tested it and I really liked it so you'll see me wearing it at Fleetwood Marina um, I go into a little bit of that on Christmas Vlog 9, where I wear it then, and I uh, had my photo took there. So, it's to me, I've got a really big hand, and I know it's not really meant for, um, 
taking your packed lunch out with you but I really like it so I like the long pockets I like the long length of it and I'm happy to go with a short sleeve because I can wear a lot of my polar necks with it um, so that bits that and um, I also want to say I'm really thrilled that so many people have been watching my videos I, I'm, I'm just made up about it it's a joy to be able to sew to be able to share my joy of sewing and um, and to know other people are even if you're not exactly enjoying it you see something that may be of help to you or of interest to you and some lovely comments I've had so thank you to everybody who stays with me even if it's only a few minutes there's just two things I also want to add now yesterday I got my fabric from Andrea beyond the pink door has an online fabric shop a lot of you will know and this came yesterday I washed it before I went to bed <laughs> to put it to dry I'm not saying I'll make anything before Christmas but it's beautiful I really love it I first saw the fabric on thread quarters Susie had made herself I think she'd made the billy dress the new one with the um, more of a statement sleeve and she was talking about that as she was studying it and it's beautiful it looks beautiful on her and she also has an online fabric shop but it was out of stock but she referred to it as enchanted garden or midnight garden I can't remember which one uh, so I chased it around different fabric sites and I couldn't find it and then I was watching Andrea's vlog one of her Christmas vlogmases <laughs> And she had a massive delivery of bolts of fabric and lo and behold one of these was in the pile so I stopped the video and I went on her site and I checked and it was still in stock so I ordered some and um, I am so pleased with it and just to show you look at it Ooh. this is really me I've absolutely no idea what I want to make with it but it's gonna be it won't be a small thing <laughs> yeah. and it, the actual name of it I don't know if anyone would list it as this but on the side it is picking garden which really suits it well doesn't it there are flowers to pick picking garden digital collection designed for you by Poppy Europe so it's got all the it's um, organic cotton yeah so it's organic, it's it's French terry for which they've used organic cotton. Um, Andrea has it on as digital flowers. So I'm just sharing that because I'm excited by it and it's brightened my week up. And very happy to see that this pattern has come in the Sew magazine because I subscribed to it a little while. If you're not subscribed, can I just say, if you're at all interested, just have a look, maybe online, but there is, um, or if you buy this month's copy, there is a subscription offer, which is worth quite a lot. So I'm a bit frustrated that I subscribe when I did, but I'm really pleased about that. That's kind of my side, my sort of pattern. And in the meantime, I'd sent for this. which I really fancy doing at some point, but obviously not till probably mid-January. And my meanderings about doing a Phoebe flounce blouse or a, some kind of frilly blouse, I've got that now that um, was shown on Stitch Sisters, a, si a Stitch Sisters video on making a shirt. So I've got some options there to have a go at. So I'm going to sign off now and I really appreciate you watching thank you very much if you have enjoyed the video please give a thumbs up and do subscribe and then you'll be notified of when I've got another video up um, we've been having some technical problems so I've not been able to edit quick enough and upload quick enough and so things have got behind and uh, we bought new memory for the Mac we've treated it and wish we'd done it ages ago but when you don't do it it's because you can't afford to do it well it is with us so we just made a we had our 
we've decided <laughs> that that's our Christmas bonus. <laughs> so lovely to speak to you and I'll see you again soon and I hope you, some of you who want to look at the video of how the this was made, then I hope you enjoy it. And I'd love feedback too. I'd love feedback about whether you found it helpful, whether um, anything I could do differently. I didn't feel like I could do an actual sew along where I talk you through it as I'm doing it. Um, well, as you know, I meander off in all directions, but I don't think I could concentrate on what I'm doing if I'm also explaining it. But I didn't know whether to do a voiceover with it, uh, explaining each se section, or just leave it with the music and let people watch it. So feedback on that, I would be really appreciative, appreciative of. Thank you for watching. Bye. Okay.